Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section and, or email me, bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. Uh, tonight's bottle comes from the Bourbon Professor. He has a YouTube bill. He has a YouTube channel, uh, Whiskey Professor, and he was nice enough to gift us this bottle. It is called Break, Omaha's Breakaway Distillery. Uh, it's a double barrel bourbon whiskey and it's a two-year-old whiskey so we'll see what the guys think of this love this bottle um as always guys don't know what they're drinking they're going to tell you wow it's really light uh what they think of the bourbon it's in their glass then they're going to tell you how much they're willing to pay to get it um in their cabinet with that thanks to all our patreon viewers couldn't do this without you guys. Love chatting with y'all. Um, if you're not a member of our Patreon group, you can go on and head over there, see uh, what we give and what we do. Uh, we do bottles, uh, Teespring, T-shirts. And um, I'm really curious about this. Which one has the most? I wanna taste this, so. Not bad. Anywho, I'm gonna go get the guys. We'll get this party started. What's up guys, welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jay. We taste whiskey, we don't know what it is. We give you a price to be willing to pay for a bottle without that hype of the label. So, let's get in here, taste some whiskey, and uh, <laughs> see what's up. This is very light. This is exceptionally light colored. It is, it is very light colored. This is um, very, very light. It almost reminds me of like pineapple juice or something. Legs are running fairly quick. Ooh, some sweetness like a cereal, um, lemon, like a cereal grain. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a like a super young whiskey grain because a lot of times I get like I'm standing like out in a cornfield or like a corn mill. You know what I mean? Like, like I don't think it's super aged. No, but at the same time, like it's not very corny. That, I get like a grain. That, really? Not bad. Maybe like a cream corn. Yeah, it's corn. Like a cream corn. So, anyway. It'd be, uh, Cheers, sir. Be, that was, that be, one sucked. This, oh, there yes. We go. <laughs> let's do that. It'd be strange if, if it smelled like corn, you know, because if it was whiskey, you know, corn. Whiskey. <laughs> At least 51%. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cheers, guys. I did something weird. I wanted to see your face first. Hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if it's because we were talking about it before, but like a ginger. Yeah. Like that like that spicy ginger kind of feel. Yeah. It's uh <clears throat> I'm gonna have to taste it again. But. So you you are you're a culinary guy. You know white pepper? Mm-hmm. I'll get white pepper. I could totally see that. Totally see that. But that lemon is still persistent even in the taste. For me. We'll see a little bit of one of those, but sweetness, cream corn, like a cereal, like a box cereal. What kind of cereal though? Like a rice or a oatmeal cereal? Like a Cheerios or a Rice Krispie Chew? Mm. Chex Mix? I want to say more like a ricey, like a really light cereal. The first you know I mean? time I sipped this... It made me think of, and I'm not a huge sake drinker, but it mm -hmm. made me think of sake. Oh, okay. Interesting. It definitely does not have a traditional bourbon profile. No, it's not. I would say the second sip is definitely better, and I don't find it off-putting. 
I don't know. For me, it's a little off-putting. Is it? Yeah, this one's not going down real well. The nose is funky, and the, the taste is even stranger. So, I added some water to this. Yeah. Super light on the nose after the water. Hmm. Didn't destroy it. Creaminess. It definitely toned everything down, mm. but it did. I don't get any like weird flavors from it like I do some. You know, I mean, like sometimes you add water, and you're like, oh, don't do that. I think last week we did that. Yeah. I'll try and put that up there for you guys. Um, I think the water definitely helped the. It mellowed it out. I think everything blends the, better with a mm, bit of water. I don't know what proof it is. It isn't high, but... I don't think it could be much above 90. And the, But the water definitely helped it. Changed the cream corn to a popcorn kind of taste. Like a buttered popcorn. Mm -hmm. Well... Vanilla. I'm going to quote I'm gonna quote Ren and Stimpy in a Ren and Stimpy episode here. Do it. No, sir. I don't like it. <laughs> Not even with the water? No. Don't like it. So you're saying you wouldn't pay $10 for it? Oh, no. I'd pay $10 for it just for the oddity of tasting it. But uh, $20? I don't think it's worth $20. What you would, I, if you paid $20 for it, you'd feel bad? Yeah, I think so. I'm going to say this one probably should be about $20 if you ask me. So... I'm actually rather enjoying it. Not, it's not that I'd be like, ooh, let me go get some of that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, like, I, I don't find much off-putting about it. I'd say, I'd be in that, like, 30 to $40 price range. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, just. Do you think this is a finished? I don't think so, especially with how light it is. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that, it's a super light color. Yeah. It's really weird. I'm not saying it can't be, but I don't know. I just don't. You know what's strange? As I'm sitting here and it's you know kind of still it's in my mouth a little bit, rolling around. I'm getting pecans. Hmm. Isn't that strange? That That's strange. weird. This is weird. Just let you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't mind it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm in that 30, 30 to forty bucks. So, well, it's a shorty short. Is it? It's a shorty short. Look at it. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Oh. Brickway. What? Never heard of this. Mostly honest bourbon whiskey, apparently. <laughs> Most, mostly honest. Mostly honest bourbon whiskey. Double barrel. What does that mean? It was somehow finished one way or another. 86%. So, so we knew it was low. Yep. Omaha. Omaha. It says Omaha's Brickway Distillery. Now, it does say bottled by Brickway Distillery. So they're probably not. We've been, we didn't totally make this bourbon. We had it distilled in Indiana. So MGP. MGP. Uh, we've been growing so fast we couldn't keep up with demand, so we got a little help. To be fair, this bourbon gets a brickway touch before it ends up in the bottle. We age it here in American charred oak barrels and taste test it until it's perfect. It's good stuff, this bourbon, and that part is 100% true. So, I wonder if they're getting new distillate from Indiana and aging it in Omaha? Omaha. Keep your day job. <laughs> okay, so I will give them... I will give them kudos. It's a very cool bottle. I have never seen a bottle like this. That is a very interesting bottle design. The is label cool. is not terrible. It's kind of cool. I, I like how it has in and different out. layers but and you, it wraps around. You know how in the glass we noticed it was really light. I'm mm -hmm. seeing like um, 
little floaty things in here. Are you seeing it? Really? It's, it's a little cloudy. That's kind of interesting to me. It doesn't seem completely clear. Hmm. No, it's not. I wonder what that is. I wonder if it's just it wasn't like super filtered out of the barrel. Um, yeah, I know people like the lipids and the fats and the non-chill filtered stuff. So mm -hmm. maybe that's it. But um, it seems an unusual thing for bourbon. So I got this bottle from uh, Bourbon Professor. Link up here to his channel. Oh. Um, and on here, I was going to say, I didn't know how much he paid for it. But apparently he wrote it on here. $40. Wow. So, and that's, like I said, that at that price, I wouldn't feel bad about it. You know what I mean? For me. You, you didn't like it as much. No. So. If I had sampled this, I would not go home with it. Right. Yeah. That's fair. Although, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a sucker for cool bottles. So the only thing that might have <laughs> made me go home with it is the, the fact that it's a very interesting bottle. It is very unique. And it looks like it's... It's got a metal cap that screws it's... on. That's very cool. Where do you see that ever? A metal screw on cap. I think it's plastic. Oh, is it plastic? Sounds like plastic. Okay, well. But it looks cool. It's like copper. Metallic. Plastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I'm, I'm not upset about that. I'll go so ahead you'd be okay paying $40 for that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, if, if I paid $40 for that, I wouldn't feel terrible. If, if I paid $80 for that, I would feel like I got duped. You know? But then again, I wouldn't pay $80 for something that is... A newer distillery, no age statement, and 86 proof. For me, that's 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 a hard. I would have, I would have to sample it beforehand. I'm gonna put your feet to the fire on this. Okay. You paid for, if you paid forty dollars for that mm -hmm. and you drank it, mm -hmm. you'd be okay with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very interesting. Um, like I said, I I didn't mind it. If I paid 40 bucks for that, I would be thoroughly disappointed. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that I would, you know, complain or take it back or anything like that. No, of course not. You can make some but I'd be su super disappointed. <laughs> that's cool, though. That's very cool. That's cool. That's, that's cool. We, we, we usually don't differ very often, no. but, you know. That's interesting. Um, you you have yeah. a, more, a little bit more sophisticated palate than I do. So <sighs> I wouldn't go that far. I would. Um, so anyway, Brickway Bourbon out of Omaha. Very and, cool. Uh, I, I'm going to learn a little more about them because I'm interested. Right. So and uh, Bourbon Professor, definitely appreciate it. Um, all of you other people, um, Patreon members, absolutely love you guys. Bourbon Blind Nation on Facebook. Be sure to check that out. And uh, t-shirts at Teespring so we can make three bucks on a shirt. Um, but there's like 30-something designs. So They're fantastic. go check it out. Yeah, go, go check it out. Those. So... Anyway, until Friday, noon central next week. Cheers. Drink wine. Well, we drink. <laughs>